So Christian Watson goes down in the fourth quarter versus the Kansas City Chiefs, and we are all left with the question of how bad is Christian Watson's injury? It's clearly a hamstring injury. Is this the same hamstring injury that kept him out of the first three games of the season? Um, all these questions that we want answered, when can we expect to see Watson back on the football field for the Green Bay Packers? Guys, in this video, I want to talk about the Green Bay Packers just got more bizarre Christian Watson news. What am I talking about? Before I get into it, take a second to hit that subscribe button. Okay, so let's get into it. I don't know if you were like me, but I was left with my head in my hands just being like, oh my gosh. Christian Watson goes out. I'm super frustrated and I'm super discouraged because Christian Watson was finally starting to gel and 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 look like that number one target. That was one of the questions I wanted answered before the season ended was, is Christian Watson going to show himself as a number one target in Green Bay? Is he going to have a spot as the number one target? Can he create um, a separation between him and the defender? Can he come back for those 50-50 balls? And we are seeing all of that and more. We're seeing if Jordan Love is scrambling, we see Christian Watson is improvising on his routes and creating um, a, an open target for Love to throw to. So I don't know. Um, so for me, guys, I, this is a Christian Watson that is much improved, right? So over the last two games, this guy, seven targets, 71 yards, two touchdowns, five targets, 94 yards, and a touchdown. He is much improved. Okay. So after he came back from his hamstring injury, you know, missing the first three games of the season, he did not look like that guy. And we are starting to see a way improved Christian Watson. So what can we expect for as far as a timetable goes, right? Because I don't know if you're like me, but I keep checking. Okay. What's the latest Christian Watson news? What can we expect out there? And then I see an article from Dr. Edwin Porras, and I'm like, okay, so who is this Dr. Edwin Porras? And so I, I do a little bit of research on this guy, and he's a board-certified orthopedic clinical specialist, a title held by less than 10% of physical therapists in the country. Okay, so I'm like, okay, this guy has a little bit of credibility. So he has analyzed and projected over 150 injury situations with 80% accuracy as a member of the fantasy points team. So when I see that and hear that, I'm like, okay, so what is, what is this guy saying? What does he have to say about Christian Watson and his timetable of returning and all of that stuff? So let's get into it. Let's take a look at what he had to say. So according to this guy, the news out of Green Bay is that Christian Watson's injury may not be too serious. Since 2018, wide receivers who have had hamstring re-injuries miss an average of 1.7 games. The median is two games. The Packers are also famously conservative when it comes back. It comes to injuries, right? We all know that, right? We all know that the Packers, you know, are very conservative in allowing guys to come back. So they want to make sure that. You know, this injury isn't going to keep reoccurring, but in, in Watson's case, it does, right? This is his fifth hamstring strain since 2021. This is, uh, this, this keeps happening to him. And right, like I said, he missed the first three games of the season because of this injury. So then I read an article and I look up an article, um, from another doctor and this doctor is Jesse Morris. And I'm like, okay, so who is this Jesse Morris and what does he have to say? about Christian Watson's return. And Jesse Morris, he's a family and sports medicine physician, regenerative medicine specialist. That's his title. So what does he have to say about Christian Watson's return? It says, Morris believes Watson is likely to miss one or two weeks, depending on the severity of the strain. So he's saying, and he's projecting that, that Watson's going to be out one to two weeks. Okay. So then I'm like, okay, I could have called that. I could have told you that as soon as we see a strain, even if it's not a severe strain, they're going to want to be precautionary and they're going to want to ease him back. They're going to want to make sure that they take all the precautionary measures because they are a playoff team right now and they are making a push for the playoffs and they've got a relatively easier schedule um, coming up. And so they obviously aren't going to want to rush him back. So what does that look like for the Green Bay Packers? What does it look like with the absence of him? We've obviously seen that in the first three games of the season, but what we can expect is Romeo Dobbs is going to get more targets. He's obviously a reliable target for Jordan Love. He's got great hands and he usually gets those touchdown. He's a red zone target for Jordan Love. And then you've got obviously 
rookie Jaden Reed. Jaden Reed has been phenomenal, and and this means they're probably going to use him more in a jet sweep motion. When Christian Watson was healthy in there, they were using both of them, right? And they now they're just going to have to heavily rely on Jaden Reed. It'll be interesting to see what Matt Lafleur comes up with. We obviously know a favorite target of Jordan Love has been Dontavian Wicks. And this is a rookie that has shown a lot of explosiveness. I'm super happy with this pick of Dontavian Wicks. And then you've got another rookie wide receiver, Malik Keith. And this guy, you know, at times he shows a, a lot of greatness. And then at times he drops some easy catches. But overall, this has been a very good pick out of Mississippi for the Green Bay Packers. Guys, are you just as confused as I am with all of this? And why have why has Matt LaFleur not come out with a, a more concrete injury update on Christian Watson? Why is there all this mystery around him? Um, is it because the injury is not as bad as they thought it was? Or is it worse than we thought it was? I'm super confused. I'm super frustrated. This is a bizarre situation for um, us as Packer fans. Um, let me know what you guys think. Leave your comments. Go Pack.